is the time spotted lanternflies have once again been spotted in Maryland. For the next few weeks, you'll probably see the invasive pests on trees. Commercial sales are arborists with the Davy Tree Company. John Str uh, Jastrzemski is joining us to explain what the bugs are and how you stop them. Good morning, John. Good morning, Patrice. Okay, so explain exactly what this spotted lanternfly is and why we need to be worried. Sure. Well, the spotted lanternfly came to us by way of trade of Southeast Asia, China, Vietnam, and India in 2014. It's been cataloged since the 1840s as a known pest. And anyway, it came in primarily to Philadelphia area and New Jersey and is now working its way into Maryland, having uh, been found in Harford County and Cecil County. But what's the issue with them? Why should we be, why are we concerned about them? Well, as non-native insects, they tend to not have any predators, which makes trees very vulnerable to the species. In addition to affecting some of the more common trees in our landscape, such as Alanthus and yellow poplar, it also affects our grape production and our hop production for so uh, some of our favorite beverages. What? Well, it is a plant hopper. It's not a, it's not a moth. And it's not a, a, a scale insect. It actually is what's classified as a plant hopper. They pierce and suck sap mm. from the tree. Mm -hmm. And uh, this sap, what happens with the sap is it, it creates, uh, as, as, uh, as the insects suck the sap, and there's thousands and thousands of them on a tree, as the insect sucks the sap, they produce this yeast-like substance that we would refer to as sooty mold. It's a blackish colored tintish mold mildew that develops on the tree and on all the areas where the sap drops. It causes quite a nuisance in landscapes, on uh, playground areas and in backyards. So if you notice this in your area, on your property, is it something that you can take care of yourself or do you need to call somebody in to get rid of them? Well, they are so plentiful in numbers that it, it is advisable to hire an arborist or a forester to come out and take a look at your property and give you the best recommendations. There could be thousands of these insects on one individual tree. There are insecticides that can be used that can be sprayed on the insect or injected into the soil or into the tree. Uh, they're called systemic insecticides. Uh, Maryland is recommending that people kill these bugs manually. Can can you? Uh, it's, it's it's not all over Maryland just yet. Is there no, something? No, not yet. Is there something preventative, preventatively that we can do so that if they in, you know come our way, we've already set up barriers to stop them? Well, yes, there are things that we could do. One of the host trees, favorite trees that. Uh, the spotted lanternfly likes to feed on is a, a tree called Alanthus or Tree of Heaven. And that is like their colony tree. They love to look for these trees through pheromonal activity and they'll congregate on these trees. So we could use these trees as trap trees. We can inject them with an insecticide that is systemic, that flows throughout the entire tree. And then when the insect comes to that tree, it will kill them almost okay. instantaneously. It's really cool. All right, John, thank you so much. Good to be on the lookout You're for welcome. that. You're welcome.